This special presentation was produced in high definition by WEDU, Tampa, St. Petersburg, you have Sarasota. To stretch, make a statement, you know. The ballet impresario who retired, we're happy to find, didn't. Robert de Warren is back where he belongs. Plié, coupé, coupé. Teaching a class of ballerinas, striving for the precision and grace that turn movements into grand expressions. You have to find the key to the lock for that step. Once you understand that little detail, the step just happens. De Warren's life has revolved around ballet for more than 60 years. He has choreographed and directed a swirling array of superstars, including the dashing Jose Carino, who recently retired as principal dancer of the American Ballet Theater. He's a very big international star. And I met when I was directing the ballet of La Scala in Milan. We've been friends ever since. So I invited him when I was the director of, of Sarasota Ballet. He would come and perform with our dancers. Up and flex. De Warren up. retired from the Sarasota Ballet in 2007. And Finally, and the timing was right for a colossal collaboration. We called it the Carreño Dance Festival, and it would be at the Opera House a whole month of intensive classes to dancers, young pre-professionals, chosen very carefully all over the country and from abroad. More than 50 promising dancers attend the summer program, culminating with a performance. Planning every detail is a year-round job now for Class with the Warren. This morning was so much fun. Aside from her five to eight hours of practice six days a week, Diana has a hereditary advantage. Thank you. You see, her parents were internationally acclaimed dancers. Her mother, Diane Partington, was also De Warren's prima ballerina when he led the Sarasota Ballet. Mm. My little children, you're my grandchild, aren't you now? <laughs> De Warren treats his ballerinas like family. I thank him for a lot of wonderful memories and probably one of the most special was allowing me the time to take off to have my second daughter which is Diana. So <laughs> that was um, something that not every company would allow you to do and have your contract waiting when you come back. His compassion and understanding of dancers isn't a stretch. He was once a great ballet virtuoso himself. He was the soloist for the distinguished Stuttgart Ballet when his former company, the world-famous Royal Ballet, beckoned for his return. And I went and did a class with the company that hadn't seen me for you know, four years almost, and when they saw the way I was dancing, they all stopped and said, Robert, go on. And after that day, it was so bad because I really pushed myself, and I couldn't walk because I was born with some abnormality in the bottom of my feet. So that was the change of career. Despite the heartache, the ex-dancer moved seamlessly into directing, choreographing, and he taught himself the fine art of and set costume. designing as well. With the unfaltering love and support of Jacqueline, his ballerina bride, De Warren's first experience as a director revolutionized the National Ballet of Iran. The Shah had asked me to use Persian composers. By the time we finished, we'd done about 50 different travels in the country, and we had, you know, a whole company of national performers with which we toured the world as ambassadors of Iranian cultures. And he brought the world of dance to Iran. He has directed ballet companies from London to Milan to Iran, but after retiring from the Sarasota Ballet, he was content to launch his next project right here. And the Carino Dance Festival was born. After weeks of intense rehearsals, the final performance. An evening to remember. Dancing on the same stage where her mother had been a star, 13-year-old Diana Dizon looked ready to become herself a prima ballerina. At nearly 80, Robert De Warren is still brimming with new ideas. 
It's a career that you never end. I think creativity, like painters and writers, you, you can't stop yourself. I mean, many days I say, well, I'm really, it's about time I retire, and before I know it, I'm doing something else, you know. You can't retire.